All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to solve a Newton's third law type of question. And if you remember um, from class, Newton's third law states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And really what it's saying is that forces occur in pairs. They're equal in magnitude, but they're opposite in direction. So their sign's going to be opposite. So let's just go through um, one of these examples and show you how, to, how I go through uh, solving a Newton's third law type of question. Okay, so it's, if we read this question, it says two air carts on an air track collide with a force of two Newtons. Cart number one has the mass of 0.2 kgs and cart number two has the mass of 0.4 kgs. All right, so we've read the question. Let me do my best at drawing um, what's going on here. So we have an air track and you've seen this in class. Um, we have it set up and we've showed you this actual um, demonstration. Okay, and so it has this uh, motor on the left side and the track here has a bunch of holes in it and, and allows air to come up. It's just supposed to reduce friction. It has two carts on it. Cart number one. And cart number one had the mass of zero uh, point, point 0.2 kgs. Okay, and then it had another cart that was uh, twice as massive. Okay, and this is cart number two, and it had the mass of 0 uh, 0.4 kgs. And so it says they collided with the force of two newtons. So cart one was must have been going to the right, and cart number two was going to the left. When they hit, they hit with the force of two newtons. And so uh, there's our there's our diagram. Now let's go through and answer the questions. Question number one says, what was the force of cart one on cart number two? So if we were to write this in, like you would see in a physics textbook, it would say the force of cart one on cart two. And, um, and we know that they collided with the force of two newtons. If we draw the force vector for cart number one, it's going to the right. And so uh, we're just going to call that one two newtons. It's going to the right, so it's positive. They collided with the force of two newtons, and so that's the force that cart one put on cart two. So uh, let's move to the second question. It says, what's the force of cart two on cart one? Okay, so the force of cart two this time on cart number one. And they collide and they hit with this force of two newtons. But if you look at the force uh, vector for cart number two, it's going to the left when it was moving. And so I'm going to say that it is a minus two newtons of force. And so here's a great uh, illustration of Newton's third law. Um, these, these forces are the same, but they're opposite in, in their uh, direction. So, That's exactly what Newton's third law says. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. All right, let's move on to the third question. Um, it says, what is the acceleration of cart number one? Now, remember, whenever we see this word acceleration in these Newton's law questions, um, whenever you see acceleration, you should think F is equal to MA. Okay, so... Um, to find the acceleration of cart number one, we're just going to uh, we're going to use F is equal to m a. This is Newton's second law. The force that was applied um, was two newtons. So if I just slide this over, and now I'm going to plug in the numbers for this equation, the force was two newtons. That is equal to the mass of cart number one. The mass of cart number one is 0 0.2, so zero point two. Okay, and now the acceleration, if we look for the acceleration, that's exactly what we're finding, so I'm just going to call it A. Now we have this equation with one variable. To solve it, we divide each side by 0.2, and 2, if you get your calculator out, 2 divided by 0.2 is equal, um, so A in this case is equal to 10, and acceleration is always has the units of meters per second squared. And so there's our answer for uh, number three. 
the acceleration. Now, if we look at um, after the collision, which way is cart number one going to be accelerating? It's going to be accelerating um, to the left. And so we might actually, in fact, put a, a negative sign here to show that it's, a, it's going to the left. Okay, now uh, the last part of this uh, question on number four says, what's the acceleration? Again, we see acceleration of cart number two. So we, we keep Newton's second law, F equals MA. Um, and then we just plug in the numbers. Let me plug in the numbers right here. The force, again, is going to be the same. Um, it's going to be two Newtons. And that's equal to the mass. The mass of cart two was 0.4, so 0 0.4 and the acceleration is what we are finding, so I'm going to keep it as A. If you get your calculator out, 2 divided by 0.4 is equal to 0.5, so in this one, acceleration is equal, is, I'm sorry, acceleration is equal to 5. And the units again are meters per second squared. And if you look at which way um, cart number 2 is going to hit, after it hits, it's going to moving, be moving in the rightward direction, so that'll be a positive 5. Now let's look and see uh, what this is actually uh, means. Um, let me ask you a question. Why does cart number 1 accelerate twice, uh, at, at a rate twice that of cart number 2? And the answer is that cart number 1 is half the mass. So it's a, because it's half the mass, it's going to experience twice the acceleration. Um, uh, that cart 2 would, would experience. And so that's a typical uh, Newton's third law type of question. A couple of key points is to understand that the force on both of these objects is the same but opposite in, in direction, so their sign's going to be um, different. And when you're solving for acceleration, you use the same force, but the mass of the objects are going to be different, so you substitute in a different mass. And that's basically it. It's, uh, it's not uh, too difficult. Um, let me erase this and get to uh, get to the assignment for this video. The assignment will be this question. It says, two roller skaters, A and B, are at rest and they push off each other with a force of 100 newtons. Roller skater A, which is on the left, has a mass of 50 kgs and roller skater B, on the right, has a mass of 100 kgs. And you're going to answer the same type of questions that we just did in the previous video. Um, it's a, if you get stuck, remember you can always go back in the video and, and go through the example problem. But I think it should make sense. Uh, give it a shot. If you need help, if you have any questions, um, feel free to come by and ask. Um, good luck.